So guys, some genuinely interesting news have just popped up over this weekend and is one of those discoveries that doesn't make headlines right away, but it could quietly shape where Tesla is heading in the long terms. They have officially and quietly filed for a brand new pen that could end up being far more important than it sounds at first glance. On the surface, this might look like some new material, some new panel placements, but when you dig much deeper, this filing looks like early groundworks for something much bigger that's coming to vehicles very, very soon. Just over this weekend, a newly published pen suggests that Tesla may be laying early groundworks for Starlink-enabled vehicles. The filing outlines an RF transparent roof assembly capable of embedding satellite and cellular communication hardware directly into the vehicle structure, potentially creating a native platform for satellite connectivity alongside the existing networks. The pen, published as US 2025-036-8267, describes a vehicle roof made of RF transparent polymer material designed to facilitate clear communication with external devices and satellites. Tesla explains that moving away from traditional metallic or glass roof materials could allow a deeper integration of modern vehicle technologies particularly systems that rely on radio frequency transmission and reception. The stated objective is to improve RF performance while consolidating multiple overhead systems into a single integrated roof module. Tesla also positions this design as a solution to the industry long-standing shark fin antenna problem. Conventional vehicles mount LTE and GPS antennas externally because the metal roofs block RF signals. But in Tesla's new approach, the roof itself becomes the radio frequency friendly environment, allowing interior and exterior facing wireless modules to coexist without compromises in the package, cabling routing, or connectivity counts. Instead of glass or metal, Tesla points to high strength polymer blends such as polycarbonates, ABS, and various other potential roof materials. And according to the patent, these materials still meet the crashworthiness requirements providing sufficient stiffness for noise, vibration, and harsh controls that complies with head impact safety requirements. At the same time, they enable improved performance for technologies such as satellite internet terminals, which require an uninterrupted line of sight for optimal signal reception. Tesla notes that by enabling polymer blends, some example enable RF transmission from all modules to satellite and other communication devices, both inside and outside of the vehicle. Tesla also details a roof assembly design to be built on a horizontal surface and installed as a single unit with the potential for full factory automation. Added to all this, the company claims that this approach could result in a three to five fold reduction in assembly efforts and time by consolidating components and eliminating overhead installation steps. The pen states that the factory ergonomics are improved by allowing the roof to be pre-assembled upside down enabling a layered and automated installation process. The roof module itself is described as a housing of wide range components, including satellite and LTE, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas, and processor, as well as connectivity cords, microphones, speakers, cooling fans, duct, map lights, and even a horizontal hazard switch. Additional diagrams shows that the roof electronics ties directly into the vehicle's computer and cabin radar, positioning the roof as a centralized technology hub rather than a passive mounting surface. In regards to the line of sight, Tesla further specifies antennas field of view including a 30 degree angle for LTE and up to 75 degrees for GPS connectivity, highlighting careful attention to keeping a stable signal. The design is also intended to maintain performance in ice and snow without requiring additional heating grids or wiper zones. Alright guys, so this is one of those pans that feels less like a concept and more like a long term strategy for what is about to come next. This isn't just them talking about additional and better antennas, this is them redesigning the entire car around these new systems. When Starlink is fully and officially integrated into Teslas, this would offer meaningful advantages in various different ways. Most notably, it would eliminate all dead zones, particularly in rural environments where there's rarely any signals. Starlink could also be really, really critical for the future robotaxi network, especially when you want to pick up a passenger somewhere up top a mountain at a ski hill resort with low reception. The car itself and the customers will need a way through internet connection 
to be able to hail these new services. Now, in other news, Tesla introduces a new extended battery and drive unit warranty for owners planning to keep their Model 3 or Model Y long term. Tesla has quietly rolled out a new monthly warranty option. The company has introduced a high voltage battery and drive unit extended service agreement in the United States and Canada allowing owners to extend coverage in the vehicle's most expensive components for a flat fee of just $2,000. Until now, Tesla's extended service agreement primarily focuses on general vehicle limited warranty, but this new standalone, however, is very different. It specifically targets the powertrain, which is the core of the vehicle, and provides an additional layer of protection once the standard 8-year battery and drive unit warranty expires. The new enhanced service agreement is offered as a one-time purchase with no subscription options available at this time. In exchange for the purchase price, Tesla extends coverage on the high voltage battery and the drive unit by 24 months or 30,000 miles. This extended coverage begins immediately after the original battery and drivetrain warranty ends. What's different about this ESA warranty, however, is unlike the original factory warranty, this extension does include a deductible. Any repair or replacements performed under this warranty carries a $500 deductible per service visit. That said, considering the full battery replacement can cost anywhere from $10,000 to $15,000, this deductible remains a relatively manageable expense for most owners. At the moment, this extended warranty is available and offered to Model 3s and Model Ys. Tesla has not yet confirmed whether the specific ESA will be extended to its flagship models, the Model S, X, or the Cybertruck. And for regions outside of North America, Tesla has stated that its ESA program will expand to Europe and Asia with availability expected sometime in 2026. So there we have it guys. What looks like a simple roof pattern is really Tesla quietly laying the foundations for a future where the vehicles are always connected no matter where they are. By redesigning the entire roof to be not just transparent but RF transparent, Tesla isn't just improving antennas, they're making the entire vehicle ready for native satellite connectivity. That's a big shift from purely relying on just cellular networks right now. When Starlink is fully integrated into Tesla vehicle, it changes the entire ownership experience. Dead zones in rural areas, mountainous roads, and remote highways become far less of an issue. Those times that you cannot load your map data because you don't have any LTE signal, that is going to be far gone. Starlink is going to keep you connected in all situations all the time. And then on top of that, features and options and things that rely fully on the internet connection, especially for RoboTaxi and CyberCab, where ride hailing really needs a stable internet connection for passengers, for customers, for the service fleet itself. This is going to be a game-changing experience once it starts to roll out. So yeah, whether this rolls out a month from now, a few months from now, a year from now, we are pretty much guaranteed, like I said, they already have it in mind that Starlink is going to be put into these cards. They're no longer going to be paying the fee to keep in contract with these cellular networks. They are going to handle it all themselves. Now, the real question really is, are they going to be keeping the transparent look? How is it going to look compared to Model Y's, Model 3's, the rest of the lineup right now, being able to view right through the glass roof is that still going to stick around or is it going to be completely solid? I would love to hear your thoughts on this. What does Polymer really look like? Drop it in the comments below. Anyways, I will be keeping a very close eye on this development. And FYI, Robotaxi Unsupervised has just launched over the past 24 hours. So I will keep you guys as updated on that as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me next at Hey Johnny over there you will see things you won't see over here and you can chat with me anytime or respond as quickly as possible. This should be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.